Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Ones Upon a Game, and today I'm going to take a look inside Lock and Low's latest Heroes of North Africa, part of the Lock and Low Tactical Series, a uh, World War II game set in, obviously, North Africa. This is part of the newest uh, printing of Lock and Low titles, and it includes uh, the, the larger box. I uh, never had North Africa before. We've got the larger box and the, um, uh, obviously, the uh, uh, pre-rounded counters, uh, just, you know, punch out and play. Um, so I've never, I've never explored this one, so we're going to take a look, see quickly what is inside here. Got my big old knife. Some sound effects here with the basket. All right, Heroes of North Africa. So obviously work with the Lock and Load Solo that also just released. Um, uh, and uh, with the battle generators and things like that. So without further ado, here we go. Get two dice. I'm going to roll them because they obviously work. You get module rules and scenarios. Now, one thing I had mentioned in the Heroes of Normandy video, which if you watched, um, the... Um, the first reprint that came out about 18 months ago uh, had the scenarios in uh, uh, chronological order, not in order of ease of play. Um, and I commented that it was not in there, but apparently it is in there. They do add on page 10 as suggested uh, for beginners to add inventory and to add uh, tanks and to add other features as well. So they do have a section in there. So we're going to look real quick and see if they've done the same with the other games in the series. So we will flip through the book first. Um, 75 pages, full color. We've got the Americans in this one, the Vichy French. I am not as familiar with North Africa as I am mostly with the, uh, the Eastern Front, the Western Front of Europe. It's little, little less so with uh, the Pacific, and then uh, very little on uh, the African Front. So I'm looking forward to this uh, quite a lot, actually. So we've got the British versus the Italians. Okay, so looking ahead, it's full color, large print, easy to read. Um, and let's see if it does have the recommended uh, scenarios here. B. Let's see. Section. Scenario information is on page 18. So we've got about 18 pages of uh, introductory rules here. Stuff for the module, how to reduce forces. Let's see it on 24. They give you page 16 scenario information. They do. They say the scenarios in this module are laid out for thematic effect in date order. If you're new to lock and load, a good starter scenario is bunker busting. It's played on one map, small footprint. Uh, uses only MMCs and SMCs, uh, multi man, single man counters. Introduces the basics of the game. So that's good. Uh, and then it expands on to some other missions. So. Excellent. Excellent that they've adopted that. That's, that's great. At least to guide you through instead of, like me, like a knucklehead, I pick one of the harder missions. Uh, you're going to get a copy of the rules manual, 4.1. This is in every uh, current version of Lock and Load Tactical. This is a World War II era. Obviously, with the more modern games, you'll get the modern rule book. It is also full color. It, like all the others, if you've seen them, Comes in about 60 something pages. Yeah, 65 pages. 67, 68, somewhere around there. Full color, it's very well laid out. Um, pretty easy to follow, really. Pretty easy to look things up. Um, good. All right, then we got the your counter sheets. You got some small, uh, you got some smaller markers. Um, like I said, these punch out really easily. Just pop right out. And a very nice, solid, nice click to them when you're using them. Pre-rounded, and not really a lot of uh, edge crud either. Sometimes when you get them that are pre-rounded, then they have uh, the edges on the sprues. But these actually came out very good and are very, very smooth to the touch. So, there's no longer an unpunched copy because I've punched four pieces. So, 
All right, so you got one sheet of counters. Let's see, you got two. You got uh, turrets, open and close markers, heroes, hero skills, different forces on the third counter sheet. Always ever present Germans, Americans. And then we've got some Italians, French. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four counter sheets. Five counter sheets. In fact, it says there's going to be six. Got your uh, got your weapons teams here. Any tank guns? You got vehicles down on the bottom. They're larger counters. Uh, so there are six six counter sheets. Apparently, get a little dust in the wind there. Instead of smoke, or there's probably smoke too somewhere there. Get a cardstock, single sided turn track. Uh, some reminders of die roll modifiers that are apparently optional in this one. Uh, Italian unpredictability. A place to track fate points, which I assume are things you can spend to alter your heroes in North Africa sequence of play card. And your weapon, ammo, and targets it also gives you the the uh, fire charts for the indirect fire um, for the different weapons there. So you don't have to necessarily flip all your counters over to find them. So that's cool. Rules reference card. Double sided, double sized card stock. Quick reference to the various rules, especially the, the rules that are exclusive to Heroes of North Africa. And the other side is even more. I'm referring to this a lot, but I like it's a nice little shortcut, a little shorthand into reminding. Because usually once you know the rules, you just need a reminder to do certain things or to add certain modifiers, things like that. So it's helpful. Uh, looks like a terrain chart. Obviously the different kind of terrain that you're going to have in North Africa versus other other regions. So uh, you got that. You got special notes, and then we've also got your uh, direct fire table modifications, your ordnance fire table modifications, Malay table. Oops, excuse me. Sound effects there. All right, then we got a map with a big gun on it. I'm not sure that's not what this is. This is your skill reference card. And, uh, this is probably bigger than it needs to be in my opinion because you're really not going to refer to it too much this would have been nicer if it had just been a single sheet um i'm to look it up to just to read this information i have to even turn it sideways just so you can see it all but uh but it's okay i mean it's you know get the, the their, their printing is just awesome I, every time i open one of their boxes i'm just like wow this is just amazing compared to the way lock and load used to be the you know the thin counters so on and so forth. All right, so now you get a bunch of maps. Let's see how many you get here. You got one, oh, 35D, 35, hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, nine, 10, 11, 12 maps. Wow, that's awesome. Beautifully rendered. They're small, double-sided, geomorphic. Um, kind of worry here. We well, got 36 and then 36B and 35. Right, 35B is on the other side. So obviously, you don't, it's not like all 35 is going to be. It was actually 35C and 35B. I don't know the rhyme or reason. I guess they obviously decided based on scenarios, but they're geomorphic in that they put together and form. You know, a good end, side to side. So you get 12 of those. Pull out and take a look at some more of these real quick. Some of the artwork's just gorgeous. It really is. I love also that it's got the clear center dot. Uh, that makes it a lot easier for measuring and determining line of sight. Obviously got some berms here. Sand dunes that have been built or something that defenses. Or maybe they're trenches. I don't know. It depends on which way you hold it to the light as to whether it's a trench or, or a hill. I'm sure it's on the terrain sheet. But you can look that up when you buy a copy. 
some scrub there, like an oasis, some debris. Uh, I don't know what that is, like a riverbed. All right, this is obviously a, this is obviously down. This is depression because there's a bridge going over it. So there must be trenches for stopping tanks, maybe. Again, told you, I don't know much about North Africa. I mean, some of them apparently are single-sided. So here's 34, and it has nothing on the other side. Spreading debris. 43. We've got a building. A little compound. It's also single-sided. A little building compound here. A little parking garage. Dry dock for your tank. 37, single-sided. I think most of them are normally single-sided in the other games. And I kind of like that That if, if uh, the bees, let's see, if the flip side is just a variation, maybe. Yeah, so that's kind of cool, actually. Because instead of having to give you overlays that clutter up stuff for this, 36B, 36 itself, are the same map, right? Just a different time of year. See how this has um, some scrub? And then here the scrub has grown up. Now you got buildings. So actually, it's kind of cool. It's kind of nice that 36 is like different stages of the same area. If I have deciphered their numbering correctly. So uh, a lot of maps. A lot of maps. Nice cluster of buildings here. Single sided. Ooh, got a, just an airplane graphic. Now that's interesting. Make sure there's a cool mission there. Ooh, this is getting me excited. I'm gonna play some lock and load. 34D, 34E. Wow, 34 has got a lot of variances. Right. Looks like the mountain got leveled, maybe? No, this one doesn't necessarily look the same. I don't know. I don't know. That one was definitely the same area. This one's maybe not. But the net result is you're going to get 12 maps. Right. Some double-sided, so you get actually more maps. You're going to get a skill reference card, probably a little too too big, a player aid card, a rules reference card. And let's look real quick. Just interrupt my recap here to see what those things are, are here. They're the wadis. I know what wadis are. Those are dried riverbeds. So I do know those from uh, studying some Israeli stuff. But, uh, okay, there you go. So you get the uh, Heroes of North Africa rules reference card. You get a sequence of play sheet with your weapon, ammos, and target notes. Turn record card. Six sheets of wonderful, wonderful counters. Pre-rounded. Don't need to round them. You can get right to playing, and they're easy to punch. Goodness gracious, they're falling out as I try to get them back in the box. You're going to get the core rules manual 4.1 for World War II, and the module rules and scenario booklet as well. And two... Awesome dice. And the nice big, big box. You can fit counter trays in here or you can build your own. So that is what you're going to get in Heroes of North Africa, Lock and Load Tactical Game from Lock and Load Publishing. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. Oh!